Hello everyone, in this class we will learn to find out the median lower quartile and upper quartile of a grouped data. I have chosen question number 7 of exercise 21.2 and the question is here. The marks given are 35, 45, 50, 64, 70 and 72 and the number of students corresponding to the marks are 3, 5, 8, 10, 5, 5. Let us solve this one. I have already prepared this table in which I have written the marks in this column and the corresponding number of students are also written in this case. Now let us first try and understand what exactly it means. This means there are three students who have got 35, there are five students who have got 45, there are eight students who have got 50 and 10 students have got 64, five students have got 70 and another five students have got 72. To solve this one first we will try and find out what is the cumulative frequency what is cumulative frequency cumulative frequency is the frequency put together let us see how we find out the cumulative frequency i will first write down the frequency or the number of students of the first group as it is to obtain the second i will add this frequency with the next frequency which is 5 in this case. So 3 plus 5 will give me 8. Now I'm going to add 8 with the next frequency which is again 8. 8 plus 8 is 16. Now this 16 will be added to 10. We got 26. 26 is added to 5. We have 31. And finally 31 is added to 5, we will get 36. So this is the cumulative frequency. The last value is 36. It must match with the sum of the frequencies or the sum of the number of students. So if I find out the sum of number of students, then 5 plus 3 is 8, 8 plus 8 is 16, 16 plus 10 is 26, 2 carries, 2 plus 1 is 36. So this one and this one matches. Now we have obtained the cumulative frequency. What does this one means? This means the first three students get 35 or the next five students get 45 or less than 5. Then 16 students get 50 or less than 50. Then 26 students get either 64 or less than 64 and 31 students get 70 or less than 70 and the 36 all 36 students they get either 72 or less than 72 now here we can see the value of n or is 36 or the cumulative frequency is 36 which is even so here we have even value of n let us now find out what is the median the median, as I told you, is denoted by Q2. Now, since the value of n is even, we use the formula n by 2th observation plus n plus 2 by 2th observation whole divided by 2. So, n by 2 is 36 divided by 2 is 18, 18th observation, then 36 plus 2, 38 divided by 2 is 19th observation divided by 2. Now the question is, where do you find the 18th boy and the 19th boy? Now if you look at this one, in this particular row, it's given 16. That means the 16 boys have got 50 or less than 50. That means the 17th boy has got 64. That also the 18th, also the 19th. So both 18th boy and the 19th boy has got 64. So we write here 64 plus 64 divided by 2, which will give me 64. So the median value of this data is 64. Now, similarly, let us find out the lower quartile. Lower quartile is Q1. 
to find q1 we use the formula n by fourth observation that is 36 by fourth fourth observation so 36 by fourth observation is the ninth observation or the ninth boy so where is the ninth boy if you look at the table again the eighth boy has got 45 or eight boys have got 45 or less than 45 so the ninth boy gets 50 so the lower quartile is 50 similarly if you find the upper quartile upper quartile is equal to it is denoted by q3 is equals to 3n by fourth observation since n is even so this is 3 into 36 by fourth observation for for 9 the 36 then 9 3 the 27 so we have to look at the 27th observation that means the 27th boy if you go back to the table then the 26th student gets 64 that means the 27th student will get 70 so 70 is the upper quartile so here the minimum max was 35 and the maximum max was 72 the max which lies exactly in the middle is 64 which divides the whole data into two equal parts the lower quart quartile 50 divides the lower part into two equal parts and the upper quartile 70 divides the upper half into two equal parts.